What's better, Google or Facebook ads? Well, we're about to find out. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and this is what $1,500 gets you in website traffic. Facebook ads versus Google ads. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. Facebook ad spend reached $31.43 billion in 2020, despite COVID-19. Now in 2021, they did even better and they continually to just keep growing. And they're poised to increase by a whopping 2022% in the next year, according to eMarketer. Facebook ads and Google ads are some of the most important ad platforms in the market today. Not only because they have a huge number of people that you can reach, but it also drives results. I wouldn't be in business or a digital marketer if I was spending a dollar to lose a dollar. I'm in digital marketing because when I spend a dollar, I make more than a dollar. And there's a couple of reasons on why digital marketing is so amazing. It's because your ability to segment your audiences and reach very specific groups of people in almost instant time frame. You also have a lot of data to understand what's going on, what's not working, where you should invest more, where you should invest less, because not everything's gonna work out the way you want. Now, let's say you had $1,500 to spend on paid ads. How much traffic would you be able to generate? Now, leave a comment below telling me how many visitors you think you'll be able to generate. I'll wait a little bit. Leave a comment, let me know. Did you write it in? All right, well, there are a few things that will influence your results. First off, the industry you're in. If you're in things in like going after cases, let's say in like legal or mesothelioma or auto insurance, you're gonna get a lot less visitors than if you're in, let's say, e-commerce. How much competitors are willing to pay for the clicks in your industry also affect how many visitors you're gonna get. Also, how well crafted and targeted your ads are also affected. If your ads suck, people don't wanna click on them, you're not gonna get a lot of visitors and you're gonna have to pay more for each click because it's costing these networks money to show up your ads. Now, whether or not you're doing remarketing or retargeting, that's another question because that can affect your cost. Seasonality is a huge one. If you're selling Christmas trees, you can bet if you're selling Christmas trees in February each year, probably not gonna get any clicks. So let's take a hypothetical business and start from there. We're gonna pretend that we're running a campaign for a realtor in Los Angeles, California. Let's say this realtor is targeting an area within Los Angeles called Burbank, and they wanna generate leads for apartment rental. On Google Ads, this realtor is gonna be targeting three keywords. Apartments for rent in Burbank, California, Burbank Apartments for Rent, and Burbank Apartment Rentals. When you check these keywords on Ubersess, they have a combined search volume of 5,100 searches a month. Now, according to WordStream, in the real estate industry, the average click-through rate is 3.71%. That means you get on average 189 visitors a month with an average cost per click of $2.25, and this would cost you an average of $427. And it would take you roughly three months to spend all your budget. By the end, you have roughly 667 visitors. Now with Facebook ads, it's hard to predict how many clicks you would get and in how much time, but based on the estimation costs from WordStream for real estate industry, we can at least get a sense of how many visitors you would get and roughly at what cost per click. According to WordStream, per click on Facebook ads targeting real estate, it would be around $1.81. If you take our budget of $1,500 and divide it by $1.81, that would lead you to roughly 828 clicks. Now, I'm not saying that these would be the actual numbers that you would see in real life in a campaign, but it gives you a pretty good idea and a rough estimation based on previous data. In theory, Facebook ads would give you 161 visitors, more than Google, but that would depend on how your ads are performing on both platforms. Now, here's the thing. Google will drive you less clicks, but what people don't really tell you is we see much higher conversion rates on Google than we do on Facebook. Remember, when someone Googles apartments for rent in Burbank, California, they're looking for apartment. On Facebook, you gotta target people in Burbank or around Burbank that you think may be looking for an apartment, but they may not be and they click on your ad and they're more of a looky-loo and they may not even be interested, so it doesn't convert as well. So what we've seen overall is Facebook is cheaper and you can tend to get more clicks, but they don't convert as well. Overall, for most businesses, 
we see them spending more money on Google because Google converts better. So if I were you, I wouldn't just use Google or Facebook. I would use both as long as it's profitable, keep scaling them both up. If you need help with your Google or Facebook ads, check out my ad agency, NP Digital. If you enjoyed this video, like it, share it to people about it. Thank you very much.